hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel trouble free in today's video i'm going to explain you about the ohm's law in the subject of basic electrical engineering i'm actually going according to the syllabus of jntuh uh, but in the syllabus ohm's law is not specially mentioned but it is very important that you people understand the ohm's law before proceeding to the problems with kvl and kcl okay it is going to be a very short video i guess you already know but let me give you a revision of this Ohm's law states that at constant temperature the potential difference across any two points of the conductor is directly proportional to the current flowing through it see the main important things that you have to remember is constant temperature at constant temperature ohm's law will not work if the temperature is changing okay it will work only if the temperature is constant next the potential difference is directly proportional to the current okay so which is nothing but potential difference v directly proportional to the current okay across any two points of the conductor suppose you take a conductor like this in this conduct in this conductor you take any two points so between those two points whatever potential difference is there that potential difference will be directly proportional to the current which is flowing in that circuit got it that is ohm's law v is directly proportional to i v is potential difference and i is current so usually in math what we learn in inverse and direct proportionals when we remove the proportionality symbol we get a constant right and here also we have removed that proportionality constant and made it as equal to and we are getting a constant which is nothing but r resistance okay so this ohm's law can be used when you know v comma i and you have to find out r or you know r and i and you need to find out v and you know v r you need to find out i so in any of the cases you can use this ohm's law got it next comes the graph of the ohm's law since i said both are directly proportional to each other what do you mean by direct proportionality if one is increasing the other also will increase if one is decreasing the other also will decrease right so this is if v is increasing i also will increase so that is why the graph is like this got it so this is the graph between v and i and this works only at the constant temperature next example problem find the current flowing through the given circuit see the problems will be not this easy in kvl and kcl you'll have you'll have different loops you'll have different junctions you'll have different different th uh, concepts but this is just for understanding of the ohms law since i already said so now let's see so he said find the current flowing so current i is equal to question mark flowing through the given circuit in the given circuit what do we have we have resistance and we have voltage so resistance is equal to 5 ohms and voltage is equal to 10 volts see here we have only one resistance 5 ohms so you can directly take it instead of 5 ohms you are having some other resistance okay suppose you have another resistance con connected here of 5 ohms then you need to calculate the equivalent resistance of both these things if they are connected in series r1 plus r2 if they are connected in parallel 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 right you need to do that also that are all problems and all you'll be uh, learning better in next coming videos about kvl and kcl don't worry uh, so for now it is enough for you uh, so yeah what is the what is ohm's law v is equal to i r right you know v 10 is equal to i into what is r 5 which means this is it is i not 1 so if you send this 5 to this side 10 by 5 is equal to i Five ones are five twos are so I is equal to what two amps? What is the unit of current? It is ampere, right? That is why amps two amps. Okay, this is how Ohm's law is um, applied. This is how Ohm's law works. Okay, so in the next video, I'll explain about KVL, KVL problems, KCL, KCL problems, and so on will continue. Thanks for watching the video till the end. If you're still having any doubts, let me know in the comment section. I'll definitely try to clear all your doubts for sure. Let's.